welcome to the channel. If you are new, please smash that subscribe button. And if you guys are returning, please smash that like button, notification bell, so you guys are notified every time I post a new video like this one. Um, anyways, guys, thank you guys to everyone that has been subscribing. Uh, I really, oh, if you guys are wondering why my fingernail is painted, um, Sydney, my daughter, here, let's see if it focuses. Sydney, my daughter, um, painted this yesterday all by herself. Literally by herself. And the, the little kitty cat thing, that's the whole, like, stamp kit that she got. Anyways, guys, um, so I wanted to come on and tell you guys, it's like the number one question I get asked every single day. Like, I can literally pull up my phone, my DMs, and I can show you guys is where the hell I got my exhaust tip and what size is my exhaust tip, what brand my exhaust tip is, if I make these exhaust tips, if both of the exhaust tips that I have on this truck, which is the Dually, and that truck, which is the Black Duramax, are exactly the same. I don't know if I should disclose the size of the exhaust tip. I know I have messaged it to some people that have asked and, um, Look, I think I want to say they discontinued this exhaust tip. I have no idea why, but I, for some reason, have two of them, and I don't know how I got them, but I have them. So, anyways, if I disclose this exhaust tip, someone's probably gonna go make it. Or should I be smart about it and maybe have someone make it for me and then mass produce it and sell it on my website? I think that that is probably the smartest thing for me to do and that is exactly I think what I want to do so um, let me show it to you guys though. and I think that's what is triggering this whole exhaust thing on my channel and is me doing all these cold starts and the exhaust tip is dope like I ain't gonna lie it is dope I mean that's why I have it right yeah look at that thing it's sick but there's the exhaust tip on this one this one's really clean. Mm, kind of. Uh, God, this thing is like so clean looking. Jesus, look at this thing. I like, I'm like so in love with this truck. That is like, it's just like so perfectly built. I get some hate comments, which is normal. Like, if I'm going to finish the lift kit you can adjust the rear by an inch up or down you can adjust the front by a lot <laughs> down if you want to put it down and i think it still has some room to go up i just had to lift it a little bit because i put the 35s and it was actually rubbing with these 35s that's insane for a seven nine inch lift it's just i don't know and then the back i have shackles so you can actually adjust the rear uh accordingly but what do you guys think i should do with this harley I really need to get rid of it. I have had it probably for like, crap, I don't know, five years, maybe. Maybe even longer than five years. It's dope, it's got the 21 inch, um, I don't even know what they call them, twisted something, the 19's in the rear. I have, it's so dusty. I have the Carlini, Carlini handlebars, one and a half inch. Um, they're like 19 inch tall handlebars, so you're real gangster when you're riding this thing. But seriously guys, like I just don't ride it. I don't ride the bike at all. Like literally, I brought it here, parked it, and that is where it's been sitting. Back to the whole exhaust uh, tip thing. Since HSTL Supply Co. is about to launch, I'm really thinking about getting someone to build me these exhaust tips and putting them on my website for sale also. And uh, I think I think if I put like exhaust tips like that and just kind of like little customization stuff that I like to do, like the billet antennas that are huge, like I don't even, let's here. This billet antenna, that is actually a two inch billet. Like look at my hand, it's like not just clothing, but you know, just to add to it, I think that would seriously be dope. I think I need to do something like that. The exhaust tips and billet antennas for now. Um, if I can find someone to mass produce these exhaust tips for me, uh, I think that would be sick. Also, what I've always wanted to do is a custom fuel cap. I want to do like some billet fuel caps and like custom painted fuel caps would be so dope. Just little touches like that make the entire thing, honestly. That's why I like customizing the way I like customizing my vehicles. 
It is currently, I don't even know what time it is, let me check. It's 2.40, gotta run to the bank. Dude, it's so weird, I've never really been excited about this, but I just checked the weather and it is not gonna rain anymore. Like, the rain is all completely done. No more rain at all, or like until like Thursday, I think, which is exactly a week from now. Um, so like, I don't know why, but I'm like excited to go home and like wash this dually. Like it has seriously been so dirty. Uh, it like, I never let it get this bad. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I was gonna head to the airport, but I just figured like, I am almost 100% positive that my airplane is still sitting in the exact same spot and the cowlings and stuff are still probably on the airplane and there is no fuel pump going in yet. Enough with the talking, I'm gonna get to washing this truck. Ugh, dude, I like legit, like don't even feel like washing this thing anymore. But it needs it, dude, like, look at this. Oh my God, this is like really bad, look at this. Maybe I should listen to those cops and put some mud flaps on. Get some mud flaps, some fender flares. Get to washing this damn thing, dude. Like, I, I like legit, like I was in such a good mood, like ready to wash this damn thing, and now, ah, I really don't, I don't even wanna wash this. Whatever. You know what? I'm tired of this. Screw this. Let's just be done. And just like that, this vlog is now over. Guys, please smash that subscribe button. See you on the next one. Peace.